Hey everybody and welcome to another Storyline Tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to create Whack Attack, a mole whacking game in Storyline. Uh, and in doing so, in creating this game, I'm going to show you how to use slide layers and some triggers and some fanciness in order to make looping things happen. And you may be like, looping? How do you mean? Well, let me show you the game to kind of give you the gist. So I have two slides here. That's why I'm previewing scene and not just the slide. And here's the game, Whack Attack. I'm going to click Start Game and... Oh, yeah. So basically I have moles, they're jumping around like retards, and then I can click them. Boom, I have a point, 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 point. Yeah. If I miss, it makes a little chicken sound. Let me turn up my volume, because the volume's good. So, there we go, I'm whacking moles. Yes, 11, my score's going up, my top score's going up. I'm just killing life, whacking these moles. So, uh, you may be wondering how I did this, because <laughs> it's very good, right? Score of 18, top score of 18. Play again, and look at that, I can play again. Great, awesome, cool, cool, let's build it. So, I essentially, when I'm coming to this slide, I'm just showing the start game layer, and then when I click this button, it plays some stupid music, which you heard before the air horn and then it shows this activate moles layer and then that layer shows mole one and mole nine okay so i'm showing a layer i click a button it does some stupid stuff um and then it activates the moles which is a layer that then shows other layers so i'm using a layer showing to trigger the showing of other layers just just sit on that and stir stir around a little bit and just kind of realize what's happening there so i'm showing mole one and mole nine i jumped to mole one and basically his timeline super short it's this guy and he has an animation and he's growing and he's shrinking growing and he's shrinking but how did it replay over and over and over you ask because he just kept popping up he just kept popping up over and over how did you do that? Well, that's how you make looping. So I am going to go here and I'm actually going to skip my start game layer and I'm just going to jump to activate moles. That way, every time I preview, the moles are just going to start dancing for me without me having to click buttons or listen to stupid sound effects. So there they go. They're dancing. Boom. I can click them. Boom. I can click them. So the way I started, and I'll actually go ahead and do it real quick, is I'll get rid of mole nine. And now I have mole one. And let's look at some of the triggers on this layer. So I have, uh, essentially, when I click this guy, it plays the croaking eh, sound effect. That is me, actually, the voice talent for the croaking mole. I'm multi-talented. Um, and then it adds one to my score. So you saw the score going up. Every time I click that guy, give me a point, okay? So that's kind of cool. And then what else is it doing? Oh, layer triggers. Well, I want to hide this layer when the timeline ends and then show this layer when the timeline ends. So I'm hiding it, then I'm showing it. Why the freak am I doing that? Well, if I were to just show the layer again, the layer is already showing, so it's not gonna show again. But by quickly calling hide this layer and then show the layer again when the timeline ends, the timeline comes, it gets to the end, hides and then shows, hides and then shows, hides and then shows. But in order for it to repeat itself, I need to make sure that reset to initial state is the uh, revisiting property of that layer. So it plays, gets to the end, loops, loops, loops. So that's why he's popping up and down really quickly. So let's think about that. What happens if I extend this timeline to three seconds? Hmm. Let's preview that, actually. Let's see what happens. Oh, they pops up and he's gone. Oh, and he pops up and he's gone. And he pops up and gone. So what's happening is, timeline, he pops up, fades away, and then there's two seconds of white space. Resets, comes back to the beginning, pops up, fades away, two seconds of white space. Boom. Over and over and over. So how can we use that to build a whacking of a mole game? Well, the beautiful thing is, I built one mole layer the way I want it to work. I got the layer reset to initial state. Every time I click the mole, I play that stupid noise and I get a point 
and then when the timeline's done, it loops itself because of the settings that I have. Hides itself, shows itself. Hides itself, shows itself. Hides itself, shows itself. So let's imagine we want to create another mole. Let's just go ahead and duplicate that layer, and I'm going to call it Mole 2 because I'm very creative. Molar. Mole 2 because I'm very creative with my layer naming. So here I am, I'm on mole two, and I'm gonna move that guy, I don't know, I'll move him to the second place. That makes sense, he's mole two. He should be in the second spot. Now quickly, I'm on mole two layer again. I need to hide this layer, and then, no, I don't wanna show layer mole one, I wanna show layer mole two. Cool. And then in my activate moles, I now have two moles, so I need to show both of those layers. So I have Basically, when the game's starting, I'm going to say, hey, show those two layers. And those are going to show almost instantaneously. And basically, those layers are identical, except they're the moles in a different place. So let's see this really quick. So I'm hoping you get the concept of how that's looping. And there we go. We got a mole. It's popping up. Boom. And let's see if I can click them. Yep. Yep, I got them both. Boom, boom. Got them both. But that's kind of stupid. They're popping up at the exact same time. Ugh. That's that's not realistic. Like, the moles would strategize, and one would be like, hey, you go up, and then I'll go up. And then the other one would be like, well, I don't want to get slapped, so maybe you go up and... Anyway, uh, the moles wouldn't pop up at the same time. So how could we fix that? Well, if you think about it, this is a three-second timeline that's looping forever. Both of them. They're both on the exact same three-second trajectory over and over and over. Well, what if I made Mold 2's timeline seven seconds? Well, now it's going to play. It's going to hit seven seconds, and it's going to loop. Well, this one is going to have played twice because it's going to play twice by the time it gets to six seconds. So now, by just extending the timeline of this one, I now have two completely independent timelines that are looping different ratios and I can't think of words but they're looping at different intervals which means as time goes on they become more random from each other because seven is not a direct multiple of three huh so let's just imagine I move this guy here and now he's not going to show up now eh, let's move him here he's not going to show up till three seconds so he's going to show up actually about the same time when the first one ends but he's not going to show up as frequently so let's go ahead and check it out real quick Hopefully it works. I'm not sure. First one, and then about the same time, boom. And actually, it's very damn precise. I don't like that, And but this guy's going to show up a little less than half the amount. Now, that's a little, that's a little too much. I'm going to move this guy here, and now I'm just going to take this premise and just make some more moles. So I'm going to, I don't know, I'm going to duplicate one, two, three, and then two, three. I don't know how many I just made. And then I'm going to just name them mole three, mole four. Wow, I really should not type when I do these. Note to next time, no typing while recording. And uh, it's very important to name your stuff, as I'm demonstrating here. And it's also important to keep consistent capitalization, which I did not do. Hey, mole eight. And let's make another one, mole nine. Mole, wow, failure. So mole nine's gonna go down there, mole eight's gonna go here, mole seven's gonna go here, mole six is gonna go, you guessed it, good job, five. And you're like, can you fast forward this, please? But I'm just going to keep doing it because uh, hopefully that it sinks in. So now I have all these moles. And because these were duplicated, a lot of these are going to be on a similar timeline as the first one. So I'm just going to come in and kind of like randomize where this stuff's going to appear a little bit. And maybe that guy can go out there. And this one can go. Oh, he's going to show up. He's going to stay up a little longer. Eh, I don't want to do that. And... Let's move this guy. Ah, I feel like I already moved him. Nope. I'll move that one. Sure to here. Whatever. And right now, this is just kind of randomizing it a little bit. This guy's not going to show up as much, so I'll move it out there. And there we go. Let's see what happens now. Oh, you know what? Nope. What we need to do is we need to make sure we hide this layer and then show the right layer. So all the way down, this one's mole 9. So we need to hide itself, then show mole 9. This one's 8. 
So I'm going to show eight. This one's seven. Show seven. This one's six. I'm going to show six. And again, if you notice something, a lot of storyline is getting something to work really well the first time, like all these layers, and then just renaming things and uh, changing a couple small triggers and then duplicating things. Really, once you get something working perfectly the first time and now there we go I'm doing all the right things and now in my activate moles I need to show all nine mole layers so there's three four five six seven eight nine it's a lot of like copy and pasting once you get something working correctly the first time uh, mole four and counting five I'm very impressed with my ability to count um, I learned so well eight nine and oh it says eight still okay so now all nine moles should show let's preview fingers crossed should work uh we'll see and it's loading and uh it's loading because i duplicated my noise so it's taking a little time to get that ready and now we have a mole pop mole pop boom boom oh it's kind of random they're just all over the place and boom 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 and i'm Oh, 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 and notice how you cannot discern the timing. And I'm going to turn that down because you don't want to hear that while I'm trying to talk. But now it's it's random. It's super random because I have multiple timelines. And so I can just kind of watch this and say, oh, this one's not showing up enough. This one's showing up too much, whatever, whatever, whatever. But essentially, these things will loop forever because of the way I have it set up. So if I wanted to, I could stop right here and you could just click until you reach 200,000 if you wanted. I don't know why you would do that. Oh man, I'm missing more than I thought. And it feels super random and it kind of is because of the offsets of the timelines. So like if I wanted to, like if I just wanted mole one to repeat super fast every time, boom. And he's just gonna show and hide, show and hide, show and hide. Or if I want him to show less, Boom, just stretch that out really far. Now he's going to show for a second and be gone for nine seconds. But because I have staggered timelines on each one of these, it, there's there's an appearance of randomization. And as they each loop over and over and over, the timelines are becoming staggered differently and differently and differently because there's a different amount of time in each one, which makes the randomization just continue indefinitely. So just for one last thing, just one more reminder, you reset, you make your, well, I'm making them not hide other slide layers. That way I can have all nine layers showing at once. So all these nine layers are all showing at once. Um, and then I'm resetting to initial state. So that way the timeline play, ooh, that way the timeline plays, it gets to the end. It says hide this layer, then show the layer again. So it hides itself, shows itself, hides itself, shows itself over and over and over. And then I basically had the logic for my scoring on each mole. So let's just go here one more time and change this to start game. I'm going to preview the scene so I can see everything. And uh, one little thing that's also happening. So I'm going to click this and it's going to play a sound. But when the sound completes, I have a bar down here now that's animating to the left. And basically, it's animating for 30 seconds. I have a 30 second countdown timer. And when the animation completes, uh, the game's over, the round's over. So my top score is zero. Let's, uh, uh, let's get a new top score. Here we go. I got I'm going for 12. Oh man, my mouse skills are not very good. Ah, take it in your face. Yeah. Oh, I missed. And my top score, 13. I can play again. Boom. Oh, I didn't reset my score. So if I wanted to reset the score, then I would have uh, just added an action. Let's add an action to adjust a variable. We're going to adjust score and we're going to set it equal to zero when this timeline starts. And that'll do it. Uh, actually, oh, because I was adding zero before. I already had that. I just messed up. Uh, but then uh, another thing is uh, set the top score equal to the value of score whenever the variable score changes and if score is greater than or equal to top score. So if I uh, actually programmed it correctly the first time and I came here and it was 15 and 15, I'd come back here, score would be zero and its top score would stay 15 until I got higher than 15 and it'd start going up again. So that's that. I'm going to leave it like this completely programmed out so you can dig in and and hopefully enjoy it i don't know maybe maybe not um but yeah 
Just remember that you can do all kinds of crazy looping. So kind of think about it, though. What could you do? Uh, you could, and I've actually done this, have fireworks that are going off randomly in a sky. Like, congratulations, you completed this course. And there's audio and they're flashing. I literally did that. And it is my favorite thing I've ever made in Storyline. So uh, looping can be done on layers. And it's pretty cool. And think about the ways you can use it. And enjoy. Thanks for your time. Bye.